today's video, we're going to be breaking down this 20 gallon planted community tank behind me here, and we're going to be upgrading it to a tank twice its size, one of my favorite fish tank sizes, a 40 gallon breeder. We got big plans for this 40 gallon breeder, so I can't wait to share it for you. But the first thing we got to do is break down this 20 gallon. So let's dive right in. Figured we would start with the current status of the basement fish room. You'll have to excuse the mess as I've been kind of in hardware mode, putting together the tank stand for the 40 breeder and getting everything into position, ready for the big move. So we'll start off with the 220 here. These guys are getting huge and looking great. Get a good look at them here. They just woke up, so they're being pretty nice and calm. Look at that Niger Venter, Tyrannochromus Niger Venter right there. One of my favorite fish. Look at the Nodo back here. He's really starting to grow and color up. You see that peach on his side with the blue and green face. It's awesome. Venusis is coloring up and he's a pretty relatively calm and peaceful fish, which is kind of odd for their typical reputation. So that's awesome. One of my favorite fish back here, a common hap, iceberg fryer eye doing awesome. Biggest fish in the tank right here. One of them at least. Malawi trout, this guy is huge. Fusco, always one of the biggest, most colored up. And here's the other big boss, my favorite fish, the Malawi hawk. Always looking awesome. And his buddy, his partner, the other Malawi hawk. Never get into any battles. They're just awesome. So yeah, everybody's doing really good in the 220. More changes on this to come. Let's move on to the rest of the fish room. One gallon here. The, I got some Caradina, Neo Caradina, excuse me. Pumpkin shrimp in here hiding somewhere. They're doing good. And then over here, we have the other shrimp tank. Taiwan bees, blue bolts galaxies and black king kongs they're all doing great tank is nice and clean love that tank and on the other side of the couch here we have the attempted dwarf hair grass Uwigumi scape with neon tetris the grass is trying to come in but it seems like for every plant that comes in some more plants are dying we got some algae here so it's just been tough to get this tank to balance out so what the plan is, is after dabbling with a couple years of community fish, I've kind of decided that I want to get back to different African cichlid tanks. And what I'm going to do is eventually break this tank down too and add another big African cichlid tank beyond the one I'm adding today. Say what? Maybe two more very soon. <laughs> and one of them will probably go in this place and it'll be pretty big. Can't wait. My next tank will be over here that's a six foot wall so i'm looking at a six foot tank there but that's the future plans but i could not wait any longer petco was having their one dollar per gallon sale or i think it's 50 percent off now so i got this 40 gallon breeder here painted the back black built this stand here for it last night so it's going to look awesome and lastly the tank and stand that are going away today. This is probably one of the best scapes I think I've ever done. I just think the scape looks awesome even though I haven't cleaned it in a while knowing that it's going away pretty soon. It's got a few chili rasboras left and a lot of shrimp in there and I'm gonna just give that to my sons. They got a couple new tanks upstairs that I'll let them have all the inhabitants of, of this tank. And then down here, my three gallon bookshelf, you can see I've already started to break this one down. I've already removed all the Bloody Mary shrimp from this tank. Yeah, this whole stand is gone and going to be replaced with this one. So let's go ahead and start breaking this one down. Okay, let's run.
so we got the old 20 drained and moved out of the way. We got the new 40 gallon put in its place. We got its new rock ready to go to Rockscape. I'm taking some rocks from my 20 gallon Iwigumi, which is Siriu stone. And then I also got another pack of Siriu stone that I'm gonna use to scape this tank. So let's go ahead and start that Rockscape. Got my first draft of my Rockscape done. I don't know if I'm gonna stick with this scape or not. I like to kind of just go through it one time real quick, see how it looks and adjust from there. So I wanted to do this real quick without the sand and then I'm gonna put the sand in, see how it looks. And if I need to adjust later, then I'll do that. So since I have my first draft of my Rockscape done, it's time to add the sand. So I've used a bunch of different types of sands and substrates and brands for those sands and substrates in my fish tanks. And I definitely wanted to go with my favorite brand in this tank, which is Carib Sea. They have a whole bunch of different types of substrates and sands. And I went with their aragonite sand, which is good for fresh water and salt water. It buffers the pH without having to chase pH numbers constantly by adding chemicals. And it buffers it to an 8.2, which African cichlids absolutely love. I already use it in my 220 gallon HAP tank, and I definitely noticed a difference in their coloration and behavior since doing it. So definitely want to stick with that again. That's what we're gonna go with. It's time to add it. All right, so now that we have the sand added, I am liking my rockscape. I'm gonna stick with it for now. I could possibly add more Suryu stone later on down the road, but now I'm really excited. It's time to fill it up with water and see how it looks. A plate down where it's going to go to try to stop it from splashing the sand all around so we can get the water somewhat clear when it fills up. Alright guys, so the tank has been set up and up and running for a couple days now. Please excuse the cloudiness, I did just now add another filter. I took my Tidal 110 that I used to have on my old 125, which is kind of overkill for filtration on this tank, but I kind of wanted it to be. So I just now set that up with some old bio balls from other tanks as well, and some fresh Kimmy Pure Blue, so I know the tank will clear up very quickly. And today is an exciting day because my fish shipment has just arrived. So without any further ado, we'll go ahead and unbox those. So I got these fish from Tampa Bay Cichlids, kind of bringing it back to where it all began. My first Mbuna I ever ordered were from Tampa Bay, Tampa Bay Cichlids. And that's what we're doing in this tank here. We're doing uh, Mbuna in this 40 breeder. And it's gonna kind of be a grow out tank for right now. I got them really small. And eventually when I get my brand new custom aquarium, these fish will go into the brand new bigger custom aquarium that's gonna be all Mbuna overstocked. And then this will transfer over to kind of a smaller Mbuna, you know, dwarf Mbuna, something like Solosi or Demasoni eventually could change into something, not even African cichlids, but for right now, I could not wait to get in, back into Mbuna. So without any further ado, let's check out what we got. All right, I saved you the trouble of watching me unbox, but here we go. We got a six fish colony of Masobo Magunga Deep. Do you speak any English? Which these are really cool fish because they are dimorphic, which means males and females look different. So we're gonna have a fun time watching the males start to color up as they dominate. Females are orangish yellow. The males become black with splotchy blue. Uh, this will be an awesome addition. I cannot wait. So we'll go ahead and float these guys. Next up, we have JLo Reef Afra. Don't nobody understand the words that are coming out of your mouth, man. These are one of my favorite Mbunas. I have not kept one of these yet, but I love their white body with the black bars and a yellow 
dorsal fin. And so I got a six fish colony of these with one to two males and four females, just so I could guarantee that the dominant males will really show that full coloration because I don't want that halfway full coloration with these fish. So I got the whole colony. So maybe there'll be some breeding as well with both of these groups. So I got 12 total fish, the Masobo Magunga, six of them, and the Jalo Reef, six of those, two males of each, four females of each. So here we go, let's get them floating. All right, so these guys have been floating for about 30 minutes now, so it's time to plop them in. So all 12 fish have been added. They're all looking great. They're all looking healthy. I have identified two males of each species, the Magunga and the Jello Reef. The Magunga, all six of them are more like two and a half inches. So that's kind of nice. The Jello Reef are a little smaller, closer to one inch, but even still they are showing great color and I can't wait to show their growth with you every step along the way. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button because I will be showing this tank's progress as it clears up and the fish get bigger and I add more Mbuna to this tank and possibly transfer it over to my new tank, hopefully very shortly. So as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.